Do you ever have a problem knowing when to take the ball out of the air? If you do, you don't want to miss out on today's drill. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Here at Better Pickleball, we are dedicated to helping players over 50 live their best lives on and off the pickleball courts. If you're not sure when you should be taking the ball out of the air, you're not alone. It's a common mistake that we see, and today's drill is gonna help you to fix it. I wanna give a special shout out to uh, Tyson McGuffin. Uh, Jeannie and I have been doing this drill. It really helps to helps you, helps us to define when we want to take out the ball out of the air and when we want to let it bounce. One of the things that I see players do too much of is they back away from the non-volleys online. Um, and then the cardinal sin is to back away and not come back forward. So there are times to back away, uh, but you always need to make sure that you come back to the non-volleys online. So this drill is going to help us to learn when we should be balling. So what I did is I've got, we've got volcano cones with balls on top. They're placed about six inches into the non-volley zone. And what they're designed to do is here, I can comfortably defend the balls on my side of the court. If they were too far in, I'd be reaching too much. And if I'm reaching too much, I shouldn't be taking the ball, or the ball out of the air. I should allow it to bounce and then hit the next shot. So the goal here, we're just going to play a dink game. Um, we don't really pay a ton of attention to the baseline or to the non-volley zone line as the baseline here. We do pay attention to the sidelines. Uh, this is a non-volley zone game. We play to 11. If I happen to hit any of Jeannie's balls, I get three points. Same goes for Jeannie if she happens to hit any of my balls. So let's see what happens here. All right, zeros. See, I let that one bounce. That I had to take out of the air because I'm defending my cone. Oh, should have let that one. We're starting to hit a few off balls there. <laughs> um, but the point here is uh, even, it's, it's just to get to a point where you're comfortable starting to realize when you should take the ball out of the air and when you shouldn't. So I hit that one in the net, uh, zero one. Let's go again. See, I need to let that bounce. It was too far in front of me. Same with that one. Oh, that's getting a little close. That I needed to take out of the air. Ah, I'm watching her feet and thinking about where I'm going to place that ball instead of watching the ball. Zero two. Oh, See, she had to do that one because that was going to hit the cone. Good try at the defense. She just actually missed it. All right. Woo! So, 
what you want to do is you want to keep playing this game. We will play a game, like you said, to 11 points. But what it's going to teach you is the right time to take the ball out of the air. And it should be, I'm going to put that back, it should be so that you're comfortable defending, not having to reach to defend. So put that in practice. Let us know down in the comments how this drill does for you, because you know what I always say, together we can train smart, good bold, and age well.